So virtual assistants, uh, Siri, right. you of course know it. Okay, let's let's interpret this. Okay, I'm a statistician. I am generally interpret the numeric data, but this is this is qualitative data. Okay, how will I interpret this? I will just try to apply my mind there. Okay, so the num the words which are bold and they are in the forefront or in the center of the word cloud, they are of course important words, and they are import they they are coming up there because maybe your vocabulary is supporting that. It's not because they are so important. Just think that way. The words which are on the circumference of the word cloud, they are outliers. Okay, that's because some of the people are having very, ex very, very unique vocabulary. Okay, so for me, that's not so important. So look at those words which are not on the, on the circumference of the word cloud or not are at the center of the word cloud. Look at those words which are elsewhere than that, those places. And try to see a purpose of, statement of purpose. You know the question? Using some of those words, can you write a statement of purpose? Give a try. Maybe you, maybe you can work in a group. Maybe you can pair with your immediate uh, colleague. Okay, write a statement of purpose. Because we are going to uh, generate one more word cloud with a new question, and then we are going to bridge the gap between the two word clouds. Okay, is my interpretation correct? See, I'm a statistician. I don't know the qualitative analysis, but I'm doing it logically, I believe. If I have done that logically, it should be generally acceptable, generally acceptable, right? So look at those words. And look at that, doctor of philosophy. We are not writing PhD. Don't call it a calci, say calculator. Don't say stats, say statistics. So when you say doctor of philosophy, you understand the depth and the importance of what you're doing. That's what I think. Huh? You just keep on saying PhD, it's just any other acronym. It's, its value is lost, according to me. Look at that question. That's a what question. It's an exploratory question. OK, when we do research, we start with, is there a need for doing the research? Each question is there. Then what question is there? Then there is a where, when, for whom, those questions are about the mediation and moderation analysis we do. Important questions are how and why. Most important questions are how and why, which you will eventually answer in your PhD journey, during your PhD journey, right? So this is the what question, very exploratory question, very open-ended and uh, broad question, right? Done? Anyone would like to read what they have written? Don't hesitate, please say. Huh. No. Then should I have written it? Do you have a synonym? Okay. Is there a synonym of those words there? Or do you believe that, that those words are there? Uh, Thanks for the uh, purpose. Like, I have the, the word that I have used, one is goal and one is dream. Hmm. Uh, I don't find that, but is it like I'm wrong in my... Uh, no, 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 no. Whatever so the response is, even hmm. if it is a garbage, A, B, C, D, it hmm. will reflect. That's what is the beauty of Mentimeter. Hmm. However, uh, looking at this frequency and what Sir was trying to mention was the hmm. outliers, probably very... Uh, uh, less number of people have given lifelong learning as an answer. Mm -hmm. However, large number of people have given knowledge and research as an answer. That's mm -hmm. what is this Mentimeter indicating. So your answer will be somewhere small if uh, uh, not many people have written about dream. But it is going to reflect all the words. My question is whether my perspective is wrong, like st no, purpose of no, statement. No, not no, at no, all. No, so no. that's the question. Thank no, you. No. Thank you. So my answer was easy. <laughs> Okay, should we go it's to the next question? It's a dichotomous question. Answers, yes, no, I don't know, I don't want to answer. <laughs> should we go to the next question? Yeah, have you written the statement of purpose for the first activity? Have you written? Done. So let's go to the next, uh, yeah. next, next word cloud. Next. Yeah. 
Hey Siri, please show the next. Siri has uh, given the next question. I would request everyone, yeah, please give your responses, two words. Hey, my mother is reminding me she wants some packet of milk. <laughs> Go. Five minutes. Are those questions same? Of course not. Thank you. Thanks. Now I'm not going to interpret this. My interpretations, of course, remain the same. The words which are bold, bold faced, and they are on the surface, on the center. They are, of course, maybe because of vocabulary, common vocabulary. Again, you are supposed to write a statement of purpose. So you are be writing the second statement of purpose by identifying the important words you perceive, or collectively. So you are going to write the two statements of purpose. First statement of purpose was based on the first word cloud, and the second based on the second word cloud. Hope I'm not disturbing you. Fantastic. Patience, dedication, consistency, perseverance, usefulness. Ethical, wow, that's really ethical. nice. Ethical has also come. Unique. That's what Poegar sir was emphasizing, novelty of the research. Excellent. Addiction, wow, and huh. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Data, logical. Updated. Good, great. Okay, so write the second statement of purpose and critically evaluate it. Critical thinking I'm saying about. When you critically evaluate your first statement of purpose and second statement of purpose, there should not be conflict. If that is there, then you are going to struggle in the PhD journey. If that is not there, then you will cruise through the PhD work. So this is the kind of a psychological test we generated. So we can do the analysis only after the, your journey, how many of you wrote what statement and how many of you went ahead and uh, did say uh, first research proposal presentation quickly, then published first paper, went for a mid review, and so on and so forth. So should we have that timelines? We have a time-based unique quantitative data of course, qualitative data we have in, in the form of a word cloud. We can do the analysis and publish a paper. Ma'am? I would, uh, first of all, ask everyone to clap for themselves because excellent word cloud has come. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you for giving the responses. Pat on your back and thank you. And absolutely, everyone is going in a very, very good path, I suppose, because all uh, important words have come. So uh, I suppose anyone can uh, read their statement of purpose? The final statement of purpose. Any volunteers? At least, I suppose, two people can read. See, statement of purpose means what? Look at two important words, three important words from this word cloud. Okay. Ignore the words maybe on the circumference of the word cloud or at the center of the word cloud. Identify other word, important words. And wove them in a statement in a such a way that it becomes a statement. Okay. Sure. That's the statement of purpose. Yeah, I, I suppose uh, one person can read it out. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Mike, Mike. So for the first one, my statement was to do innovation for the benefit of masses. And Excellent. the second one, uh, it solves a problem for masses. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So in larger context, you wanted to solve a problem 
for a bigger for, for the betterment of society, society. societal benefit yeah. excellent good anyone else we can Great. stop after that yeah. second uh, i think participation yes second last show yeah, yeah hello uh, my first statement was to contribute towards wisdom with unique knowledge and the second statement came out to be to have original and reliable ideas to improve social value. Okay. Good. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wisdom and unique knowledge. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Our time is up. Our time is up. So let's uh, invite the next uh, yeah. uh, event and activity.